Good day. This is Senior Fire Officer Juan Rodel Estolioso of the Bureau of Fire, Plans and Trainings, Tabo City Fire District. Under the leadership of our District Fire Marshal, Fire Major Alex Pamaybay. My topic for today is in Module 3. Okay? So, previous module speaks about fire, the chemistry, and the behavior. But in my modules, we all speak what to do in case there is a fire already. Okay? So, what to do in case of fire? Very simple. Just remember the word safety. Okay? Let's start with letter S. Okay? S stands for sound the alarm. Okay? So, sa mga alarms na naranig ninyo, sa mga alam ninyo na mga alarms, what comes first in your mind when you, when you hear the word alarm? Ano yung mga sound na pag narinig ninyo yun, it means emergency. Sige daw, let me try. Okay? Sound the alarm means call the attention of others. Okay? In terms of fire, when you say, when you hear fire alarms, it is a continuous sound. Just like that. It means evacuate, emergency, no? get out of the building. Okay. So when you hear a sound, an alarm, a fire alarm, a continuous one, even though it is a malfunction or curiosity, but if you hear that alarm, it means evacuation, get out of the building. Okay. Another calling of attention is when you press the alarm and it doesn't function, no? Brand out or sira. So, another one is shout by shouting, no? You need, uh, your objective is to let others near you, within the room, within the hallway, or within the floor or buong building to know that there is an emergency, okay? So, shout or shouting is one of the forms to call attention of others. So, why don't we try shouting? Figure it out. In the count of three, why don't you practice shouting? Okay. One, two, three. Alright. So, if you do, kung nag-shout kayo, it means you have a muscle memory already. Okay? Hindi lahat ng tao nakaka-shout in case of emergency. No? Nakakita ka na ng crush mo. Stand ka na. Tunganga ka na. What if malaking sunog ang nakita mo? So, it, it pays na nagpa-practice. Okay? Now, the next thing is bell. Kung wala talagang alarm, you cannot shout. You could, kumbaga, magbang ka ng kahit any metal or the door or the, the, the table to call attention of others. Okay? Meron din yung sinasabi na paging system. No? Public address. Okay, if you are in a business of hotel or a condominium or the mall or the hospital, hindi mo pwede sabihin sa paging system na nasusunog ang third floor, nasusunog ang ganitong room, magka-create ka ng panic. Okay, but if you have already a brigade, I suggest na meron kayong coding system. No, For example, code 1 no? refers to may parang may apoy or may sunog sa ganitong room pero hindi pa confirmed. Code 2, confirm na. Code 3, it means labas lahat ng tao, hindi napatay ang apoy at lumalaki. Parang ganun tipo. Okay? So, pwede din code red, code blue, code green. It's up to your management. Okay? Para pag may narinig kayong code 1, it means yung member ng brigade alam na merong emergency na fire. So, hindi alam ng buong building. But for you in the emergency response team or the brigade, magre-react na yan. Pupunta na doon kung saan yung sinabing location ng code 1 or ng code blue or ng code red. Okay? So, one way of calling attention din yan. Next is ng whistle. Okay? How do you whistle when there's an emergency? No? May joke. Tweet, wheel! Ganun ba? Or tweet, wheel! Mga ganun tipo ng mga, 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 mga whistle. Hindi. No? Whistle na straight na whistle. Beep! It means... I need attention, emergency. Okay? It also, nakoconnect din yan sa mga may mga sasakyan. When you hear a siren sa likod ninyo, what does it mean? Isa lang yan. No? Ibig sabihin, that vehicle 
fire truck man, police mobile, or an ambulance, it means it is an emergency give way. No? Hindi na mag-stop ka sa car mo, tatakbo ka palabas ng car. No? Iba yun, sa building lang yung ginagawa. For you, nasa mobile, means give way, pagbigyan yung emergency vehicle na maka-pastro ng mabuti. Okay? So, if these alarms hindi pa rin nag-function, the fire alarm, no, the shouting, the bell, the paging system, or the public address, and wala kang whistle na dala, no? ano pang ibang ways? For example, death. Pa paano mo masabi na I need attention, I need help? So, is there any way? Merong isa pa. Okay? Now, pag makita ka ng blinking light, no? Mabilis, strobe lights. It means it is an emergency. No? Pag nasa medyo high-end na ng mga malls, mga condominiums, hotels, makikita mo yan, sa bell, sa taas niyan, merong light. Pag tumunog yung bell, sabayan nagbi-blink. Strobe lights ang tawag doon. It means that is also an indication na may emergency. Get out of that building immediately. Ganon lang din yan. Kung nasa likod mo rin na sasakyan, pag naka-high ang light, saka naga-flash ang mga lights, No, especially the blinkers. It means it is an emergency even though hindi mo narinig give way. Okay? But for example, a person, no? Hindi ka naman din nagdadala ng mga blinkers, no? Wala kang whistle. Pag shout mo ng sunog, what? Kasi nga bingi. Paano mo isabihin sa kanya I need attention? Okay? Nang na kami sa isang school, special school yun siya. Merong sign language, no? Pag ganito daw, it is a fire. Pag ginanito mo daw, it means it is a flame. Okay? So, how will you say it kung may nasunog? You do like this? Parang pangit yung tingnan, di ba? <laughs> Sa ibang uparapan na yan. So, meron, sinabi doon, when you raise your hand like this, okay? It means, I need attention, I need help, pwede mo maturong emergency. Okay? So, that's it. S stands for sound the alarm, whether it is mahina, Medyo malakas, malakas buong building, you should do your thing, you should do your best na ma-alarm, sabihin mo yung katabi mo, kasama sa room, on the hallway, on the floor, on the building, that there is an emergency, especially if it is a fire. Okay? So that's it. S stands for sound the alarm. Okay. Next, we proceed to sinasabi na letter A. Okay, letter A na tayo. It means... Advise and activate the fire department. Okay. Um, marami nagsasabi na parating huli kung dumating no, ang mga firefighters, ang mga bombero. Okay. Maraming dahilan. No? May nagsasabi ko ulang ng tubig, nagkuha pa ng tubig, no? walang mga crew. Pero lahat yan, hindi yan totoo. <laughs> Always yan may tubig ang fire truck pag nasa fire station. Okay, I'll give you a clue. Pag nakaharap ang fire truck, it means good. Pag nakatalikod or naka-open ng hood, it means under maintenance. Pero pag na may fire truck sa fire station, parating may tubig. Nahuhuli ang mga bumbero. Okay, kasi nga, walang nag-advise. Now, let me ask you a question. Alam niyo ba ang telephone number ng nearest fire station sa inyong lugar? In Davao City, we have 12 stations. Strategically, strategically located sa buong Davao City so that we could run, we could respond within 5 to 7 minutes if natawag ng maaga. Okay? So, we have Intoril, Kalinan, Mintal, Talomo, or nasa Matinan area, the SIR. Downtown area, we have two, no? the Bangoy Fire Station and the Central Fire Station. Going north, we have um, Buhangin, we have Lanang, we have Panakan, Kabantian, and Punawan. Okay? So, yun sa buong Davao City, strategically located ang mga fire stations, including our volunteers, no? Call it the Volunteer White and the Green and the 911. So, if the call, no? Maagang natawag, mata maagang nakahingi ng tulong, makaresponde ang mga firefighters within 5 to 7 minutes. Now, the problem is this hindi alam ng public kung ano yung emergency hotline number natin. Okay? Nung naging mayor si Presidente Duterte dito sa Davao City, 
Meron siyang project na Central 911. It is an emergency call center. No? So, you just dial 911. Then, kukonek ka na kung anong emergency. Nung naging presidente ng mayor natin, dinala niya sa buong Pilipinas ang Central 911. It is an emergency call center. Now, again, I'll ask you a question. Ano ang telephone number ng emergency hotline ng Central 911? The number is... 911. No, medyo gishake ko lang. <laughs> okay. You call it smart globe or the landline. You call 911, it is emergency. But very important to tell what is your emergency. Okay. There are four things na dapat lalabas sa mouth niyo when you call 911. Number one, you should say it first, what is your emergency? No? Sunog! Bakit? Maraming agency connected sa 911 na emergency. Pag nagsabi ka lang ng help, malilito yung yung operator kasi nga call center ito. Kung anong help ang gusto mo. Pag sinabi mong sunog, papadala siya ng fire or ng first aid ng firefighters or the bureau of fire. Pag sinabi mong may magnanakaw, papadala siya ng PNP personnel. Pag sinabi mong medical help, papadala siya ng mga ambulances. Pag sinabi mong may terorista, papadala siya ng army or task force. Okay? Pag, pag sinabi mo may mga may mga wild animals doon, papadala siya ng mga pest control, mga ganun tipo. Okay? So, pag, pag sinabi mo may re-rescue, papadala siya ng mga rescue squad. So, depende sa hiningi mong emergency ng help. Kaya nga, you should be specific kung ano yung help. Okay? Second, you should say the clear location kung saan kayo. Okay? The number, the streets, and Landmarks are very important. Okay. Then, pangatlo, medyo critical din ito, medyo needed din ito. You say your name, and the fourth is the telephone number you're using. Bakit? Even though high tech na tayo ngayon, meron na siya ng caller ID. The the operator behind, dapat maassure mo siya you're telling the truth. Okay. Kasi nga maraming prank callers. Okay. Yes, maraming tayong fire trucks, maraming tayong ambulances. But compare it to the populations. Medyo, dito sa Davao City, we have almost 2 million. And ang fire tax namin siguro mga 30 units. Marami. Pero compare mo sa in public, talagang liliit yun. Now, kung merong tatawag ng help, prank caller siya, sayang yung unit na tatakbo. And you're wasting time, fuel, and also the lives of those people na magre-responde. So, make sure you say your name and the telephone number you're using. Pati sa alam ng operator na you're telling the truth. Okay. Now, advice is very important. Even though na maliit ang fire or malaki or natapos nyo ng patayin, you need to advise the fire department na merong nangyaring sa kuna. Okay? 24-7, kahit anong oras, pwede nyo tawagan, that's our job. Okay? Papatay namin yung apoy. No? mag investigate kami para hindi na maulit yung ganong tipong mga aksidente. Okay? Now, for the activation of fire brigade, If you are a big company, hotels, mga malls, or mga hospitals, or big-time condominiums, um, before renewing your your permit every year, hinahanapan niya ng mga inspectors namin kung meron kayong brigade. Kung lumampas kayo ng 50 personnel in that area, one time lang, 50 personnel, it means you need to have a brigade. Maganda kasi pag may brigade. Kasi nga, in case of any emergencies, especially kung fire, Merong magre-respond sa fire. Hindi na kayo magtuturuan. Trained yan sila. May magme-medical, may magre-rescue, may tatawag, may mag-gikon ng sa evacuation, the rest. Okay? So medyo hindi masyado stress ang mga tao doon. In 5 to 7 minutes, darating yung mga agency, pwede nyo i-turn over lahat ng trabaho, then the rest is history na. Okay? For those na malalaki. But for those na maliliit, ito lang gawin. Ito lang gawin natin. You need to advise the fire department. Now, sasegway ako sandali. No? Parating huli ang bumbero pag dumadating. Tama o mali? Okay. Talagang huli dumarating ang mga bumbero. Kasi pangit tingnan kung nauuna ang bumbero. Di ba? Maya maya may mag-park na fire truck sa front ng bahaw sa inyo. Sabi nyo, Sir, ba't kayo nandito? Maya maya, nakasunog kayo. Parang pangit tingnan. Okay? So, always yan sila huli dumating. But, if you call early, the response will be also early. That's it. S, sound the alarm. Then, advise the fire department. 
Now, if in case medyo lumaki konti yung fire, no? Letter F stands for fight the fire. Okay? That is if possible. Okay? Previous modules, no? Doon sa partner ko si Senior Fire Officer King, sinabi doon kung paano labanan yung fire. Anong klasing mga fires? Paano siya if a fight, no? But dito, meron tayong isang technique lang, no? Lahat ng mga methods kanina in one technique lang dito ngayon. Okay? Fight the fire if possible. But I'll give you a warning. Don't play hero. Okay? Lahat ng mga hero parang masama ang nararating nila at the end. Why? Pag magresponde ka, okay, be sure na again, i-repeat namin ito. Number one priority is your life and your personal protection. That is the first priority. Sir, ang loved one ko na iwan sa loob ng room. Yes, may tendency talaga tayo magre-rescue. But, I'll ask you a question. Are you equipped to do that? La, are you trained to do that? Hindi. If you cannot hold your breath beyond 60 seconds, pag nag-inhale ka ng mga toxic gases, monoxide, dioxide, shut down your brain, shut down your lungs, magko-collapse ka. Karamihan sa namatay during sunog, na suffocate mo na before na burn alive. Okay? So don't play hero. Yes, masakit mawalan ng loved ones if ever na na naiwan doon pero pag nagplay hero ka doon hindi ka equipped hindi ka trained dalawa na kayo mas masakit yun sa family na maiwan kuha okay now it's normal na kabahan pero always stabilize mo na situation sir pag malaking fire talaga lahat ng bumbero kinaka, kinakabahan lahat ng bumbero no? bumibilis yung yung heartbeat niya I've been almost 21 years na in service Okay, so medyo marami-rami na rin ang mga responde. Pag malaking fire, kinakabahan din. Pero bawal ang tinatawag na magpapanik. Nagsashutdown ng brain. How do you do that? You ask, what happened? Saan ako? Am I safe? Pag nasagot mo yung mga series of questions, medyo kakalma ka. Kasi nga alam mo na kung gagawin. Huwag ka muna mag-react. No? Think muna, set yourself before mag-react. Kasi kung mag-react ka agad bigla, might be hindi talaga maganda ang mangyayari. What if tumakbo ka agad? Tumama yung tummy mo or nung lower ng tummy mo sa corner mismo ng, ng, ng mga table. So, medyo masakit yon. Pwede ka magkukulaps. No? So, ganun muna. Okay? Fight the fire if possible. Okay? So, meron tayong isang instrument ay isang um, uh, aparatos na gagamitin natin para pampatay doon. No? Ito ang tinatawag na fire extinguisher. Okay? Kapakita ko saglit. Okay? Kung ano yung fire extinguisher. Okay? Could you still hear me? Ito yung fire extinguisher. Alright. So, fire extinguisher. No? Marang sabi fire wisher. Okay? Para hindi may rapan, fire eggs. Okay? But before this, uh, alamin mo natin ang fire eggs. No, maraming parts ng fire extinguisher. Let's start with this cylindrical thing. This is the tank, no, metal. No? Tank, cylindrical siya, engineering-wise, para uh, yung pressure niya sa loob equal. No? Kasi pag nasa corner, doon unang bibigay. This one, equal lang pressure no? for the engineering subject. No? Cylindrical, this is the tank. Ang laman nito, pamatay sunog. When you see the red one, it means powder. When you see a green one, it means gas. When you see a blue one, it means um, foam. No? When you see a dark red, it means another gas, no? CO2. Okay? When you see a stainless, uh, water shall pressurize. No? Pag may nakita kayong pink, wala pang pink na fire extinguisher. So, balik tayo sa red. <laughs> okay? So, the red one is the powder. Sa sinabi ko lahat ng mga pamatay sunog, yung powder ang medyo cheap. Okay? Medyo mura lang siya pipihin. No? So, pero lahat ng sinabi ko, nakakapatay ng apoy, pero hindi siya toxic. Na pag tinamaan kayo, magingisay kayo, mamatay. No, it's not toxic. Pero, for example, this powder, of course, makabara ng, ng nose niyo, pwede kayo masafocate. Pero hindi kagad kayo magkisikisik. No? So, don't be afraid na baka kayo ang masabugan nito, mamamatay kayo. Hindi. But, the powder and all of them 
could be corrosive. Okay? Now, sa powder, ito yun. Okay? Then we have the levers. Okay? You see, there are two. Okay? The lower and the upper levers. The lower lever is the handle. Ganito ka dapat maghawak ng fire extinguisher pag hindi pa maggagamitin sa fire. Okay? When you're carrying it, dapat ganito. Okay? The upper lever is the trigger part. Okay? Between them is the safety pin. That's why ganito dapat tumawak, hindi ganito, para hindi mo maipit yung safety pin. No? Yung safety pin na to, para hindi mo siya maipit, yeah, illegal discharge yung sa trigger part. Then we have the gauge. Then the gauge is three colors. No? The yellow, the red, and the green. The yellow is the pointer. The green is the part na pag naka-point doon, it means epektibo. Pwede gamitin. If the pointer points at the red portion, it means wag mo nang gamitin, hindi na epektibo. Okay? So, before you use it, tingnan muna. Okay? And this part is the the flexible hose. No, dapat flexible. Flexible na. Okay? Pwede siya ganun. Pwede siya side. Okay? Ang dulo, okay, in our place in California, joke lang, we say it nozzle. Okay? Pero sa Pilipinas, nozzle. Anyway, it's a nozzle. Dito lumalabas yung pamatay suno. Okay? So, gauge, levers, safety pin, the tank, flexible hose, the nozzle. Kopya. Now, the yellow part, this one, hindi siya kasama sa part ng dito ng fire extinguisher. This is the seal, warranty seal. No? Nilalagay yan because it is a law between the DTI and yung binilihan ninyo na fire extinguisher. It means, 2 years warranty pag meron pang seal. Okay? Pag nag-low pressure, naputo lang host, nawala yung kung ano-ano ba dito nasira, meron pang seal, within 2 years, pwede palitan ang binilihan ninyo ng fire extinguisher na panibagong brand new na fire extinguisher, no question asked. Because under the law, protected kayo ng 2 years warranty. Okay? Now, kung na kung na nasira o naputo yung seal, the next day, it means hindi mo na pwede palitan. Buy again ka. Okay? But again, ang laman na mamakay sunog, tumatakbo up to 15 or more years. Depende sa product. Okay? So, ganito. How to use the fire extinguisher if in case merong fire? Okay? So, mangyari, ganito yan. Okay? If there's a fire, meron ang fire, no? So, magsasound the alarm ka, sabihin niyo yung kasama mo na mag-advise mo na, then to fight the fire if possible. Kung maliit na fire, do not fight kung malaki na, do not fight kung nasa ceiling na, kasi nga hindi ito gibuild ng fire extinguisher para sa ganun kalaking fire kung nasa ceiling na. Okay? So, unang gawin mo is ang word na tipas. No? T-P-A-S-S. -S. Okay. T stands for, medyo marami kasi ang acronym, but the Bureau of Fire, the Bositi used the tipas. Kasi nga, nami-miss yung T. The T is twist the pin. Tini twist yung pin kasi nga to break the seal. Okay? So, medyo mat matiba yung seal. Kasi nga pag hilain mo lang ng ganyan, medyo mat ma matibay siya. So, medyo mahirap. But if you twist the pin first, mag-break yung seal, madali mo na lang siyang i-pull. No? So, TP, pull the pin. Tanggalin ang pin. Then, you have to aim. Get the nozzle. This is the right way to handle the nozzle. Yung dulo, hawakan ganito. Okay? Huwag ganyan. Huwag dito sa gitna. Pangitingnan. No? Malikot. Dito lang. Ang pag ganito, ang pagkahawak. Okay? You aim. You aim the nozzle at the base of the fire. Equals kung saan nanggagaling yung fire. Huwag sa baba. Huwag sa body. Huwag sa thumb. Huwag sa side but kung saan nanggagaling yung fire. You aim at the base of the fire, make it sure na nasa 2 to 3 meters ang distance. No? Para sure, dala kayo na ang steel tape. No, mission niya. That's a joke. Okay? So, aim at the base of the fire, safe distance, 1 to 2 to 3 meters, make sure na ang flow ng hangin hindi papunta sa inyo. Okay? Makikita mo yung smoke. 
Kung papunta sa inyo, it means doon kayo sa likod. Kasi nga, pag bumuga ito, patay ang apoy, kayo din, no? Matatransfer lahat sa inyo. Okay? But anyway, hindi ka rin mamamatay bigla niyan. Okay? So, aim. Pag naka-aim na, that's the time maakyat yung fingers ninyo or yung thumb ninyo papunta doon sa second level sa upper level which is the trigger part that's the time mag-squeeze kayo letter S, squeeze pag nag-squeeze na kayo may lalabas, pressurize na napamatay sunog that's the time pag lumabas sweep, no? side to side huwag ganyan, side to side doon lang sa area kung saan may fire huwag nyong habulin nyo sa side sayang nyo lang pamatay sunog so, okay, again, twist Pull, aim the nozzle, squeeze, then sweep side to side using the fire extinguisher. But before that, you need to be familiar with your fire extinguisher. In the earlier module, modules, nakasulat doon ABC, correct? No? A stands for ordinary combustible materials. Okay? Paper, wood, rubber, plastics, okay? Pati nga human tao, no, tao human being, combustible materials. So, pag nakasulat na letter A, pwede ang fire extinguisher. Ang B, flammable liquids. No, it means gasoline, diesel, oil, kerosene, whatever na mga liquids na flammable, pwede ang letter B. Okay? Then, letter C, energized electrical equipment. It means lahat ng gumagamit ng kuryente. No, AC, or DC. No? Pag nakasaksak, pwede siya. Pag walang din nakasaksak, but there's a battery and it is running, it means energized siya. So, pwede ABC. Hindi lahat ng fire extinguisher ABC. No? Lalo-lalo na yung foam, hindi siya pwede sa C. Kasi nga, may water siya. No? May liquid. So, alam niyo natin yan, ang conductor of electricity ang tubig. So, pag dinanatan mo yun ng liquid, pwede lalaki yung damage pwede kang magdadama. Okay? So, hindi lahat ABC. Pero karamihan, ABC. Okay? Hindi din lahat ng fire extinguisher, merong A. No? Most of them, most of them, but ABC. Pero merong isa, lalo na yung mga gas form, hindi sila, hindi mga gamit, hindi sila effective sa A. Okay? But, tingnan nyo muna before you buy. Okay? So, how to use fire extinguisher? Okay na tayo. Okay? Very good. Next is, Pag pinatay mo yung fire, fight the fire, medyo may time kasi na hindi napamatay, no? May the advanced stage na. So, the next is E. Evacuate the area. Okay? That's why there's always an evacuation plan sa malalaking mga building. Hinahanapan niya sila ng mga bumbero every time during New Year permit. Balik-balik ang drill so that meron ka ng muscle memory how to evacuate. Segway mo na tayo. Pag nanonood kayo ng mga sini, what do you do first time pagpasok nyo? First thing, pagpasok nyo ng sinihan. Huh, wala na ako pakilam dun no, kung sino kasama nyo or nag-holding hands kayo. Pag upo nyo, make sure to read on your mind yung fire exit. Don't read it aloud. Fire exit! Nakakabulabo kayo niyan. You tell your kasama na merong fire exit dun sa baba, sa kaliwa, merong fire exit dun sa kanan, sa baba. Why? pinasok nyo na sa muscle memory nyo, pinasok nyo na dito sa brain ninyo, na merong exit doon. Kasi nga, kung hindi mo pinasok yun, hindi mo dinigest yun, in case of emergency, ang muscle memory mo is kung saan ka pumasok, doon ka rin babalik. Magkakaroon ngayon ng stampede. Pero kung alam ng memory mo na meron palang exit doon, kumbaga, hayahay kung sabi saya. No? Walang tao, alam mo ang labas. Yung far exit kasi, the word far exit, it means paglabas mo, safe ka na. When you say an exit and an arrow, it means the exit is going there pa. So you need to prepare yourself na paglabas mo dyan, it's not really the exit, but papunta pa doon. No? Lalo na pag may running man. It means paglabas mo doon, tatakbo ka pa, papunta doon na side. So that's it. So you need to evacuate the area. You should know kung saan yung mga evacuation area. If you are in a hotel, best practice, when you close the door of your room, again, wala akong pakialam kung anong ginagawa niyo doon, you should see the evacuation plan. No? Sa likod ng door, may evacuation plan. No? May nakasulat doon na 
you are here. Now, good. Hanapin mo yun, then make sure na dalawang in separate direction yung exit plan. In the red arrows, then verify siya kung talaga bang may exit doon. Okay? So, tip. Sana hindi ito nakakasira. Make sure na mayroong windows. No? Make sure na mayroong talagang exit points. It's up to you if you want to stay with that hotel or that room. Kasi nga, in case of emergency, pag wala kang mga exits, delikado din yan. Okay? So, you know the exit route para at least mabilis makalabas. Now, papano mag-exit ngayon? No, wait, wait. Mag-exit ka, lalabas ka ng building if you hear the alarm. Of course. No? Pag tumunog yung alarm, wala na ibang ibig sabihin nun, labas ka, hanapin mo yung exit route, then labas ka doon. Now, paano ka ngayon mag-exit if the smoke is very heavy in that room? For example, you're in a function room. Paano? Mga mga bata, alam nila nito. No? You have to drop, okay? you crawl, and go to the exit door. No? Stop, drop, and crawl. Bakit? Kung early stage pa, yung init, yung mainit na, na smoke and the rest, nasa taas yan. Meron pang mga breathable air, no? Breathable, not clean air, sa baba, kung maaga pa. It means, pwede ka pa mag-survive, that's why you crawl. Tsaka hindi mo ma-inhale yung mga toxic gases if you keep on standing. Kung matagal na, huwag ka nang mag-crawl. Pwede ka mag-crouch, hanapin mo yung exit, then labas. Okay? So, stop, drop, then labas. Now, if in case yung damit mo naman ang nadapuan ng fire caught by a fire yung, yung, yung mga clothing mo anong gawin mo? don't run if you run on the previous module ang kinakailangan ng fire is an oxygen isa sa mga makakatulong sa kanya keep on burning so stop cover your face drop then you roll how do you do rolling? Okay? You don't roll na tuloy-tuloy. No? Labas ka ng door, baba ka ng second floor, labas ka ng... <laughs> Hindi ganon. It means you drop, you roll on your side, right? Or to your left, no? on your belly, on your back, maybe three times or twice. That's the, the way how you roll. Hindi yung roll na tuloy-tuloy. No? Baka mabang mo yung head mo. You do that in a safe area. Of course. Hindi doon sa nasusunog na room. Pag nandun ka sa nasusunog na room, nagro-roll, Lechon ang tawag nun. Don't do that. Okay? In a safe place, doon ka mag -droll. Para yung mga kasama mo, pwede pa nilang tulungan patayin yung fire. Okay? Now, do not use elevator. Why? Sa mga bagong guidelines ngayon or sa previous pa ng mga guidelines namin, pag may fire, automatic, yung nearest person or yung safety officer, pinapatay always ang main switch. Kuryente. It means, hindi ka pwede sumakay ng elevator. Kasi pag namatay yung, yung kuryente, magsastop yung elevator. Nasa loob ka ng elevator, pag naiwan ka doon, pag open na mo, pero baka chokes to go ang mangyari. Don't do that. Okay? Meron din mga technology ngayon, lalo na sa mga first world country, pag na-press ang emergency, it means bababalat ng elevator, open din yan aakyat. So, the best way is to use the Exits. That's why in the Republic Act 9514, at least two fire exits ang nirequire sa bawat building. No? In separate direct, in separate locations. No? Opposite pala, ibig ko sabihin. No? Para kung sa kaliwa, hindi pwede, sa kanang katatakbo. Ganon tipo. Okay? So, always use the fire exits. Do not use the elevators. Okay? That's it. Evacuate. When you hear this, the alarm, Evacuate. Wala nang tanong-tanong, evacuate. No? False alarm, better na doon sa baba, ay false pala. Kaysa naman na last ka na naka-evacuate. No? If you cannot hold your breath for more than 60 seconds, then that's another story. Okay? Then after evacuate or evacuation, we have that T, no? tell others. Ano yung tell others? Ibig sabihin, pag dumaang ka sa mga rooms, you need know, to knock the rooms, Hey, bang the rooms. Hey, nasusunod na tayo. Labas na kayo. Kasi nga hindi natin alam nung sa loob might be mayroong mga headpiece natutulog or whatever kung ano ginagawa nila. Hindi sila aware sa labas. 
You need to bang the door. Hey, lalabas tayo. Sunog, sunog. Labas tayo. You have to tell others to get out of the building. No? Huwag naman pag nakita niyo yung nakasulat, manager, supervisor, ito, masyadong stricto, pass. Walang pass, no? Kahit galit ka dun sa tao, you need to bang the door, tell the per persons inside, hey, may sunog, may emergency, get out of the building. Okay. Now, magsisegui ako kung this earthquake. Diba, moment ago, sabi ko, once you hear the alarm, it means get out of the building. So, magsusunog muna before mag mag-alarm, then get out of the building. Correct? Or, after shaking, pag nag-earthquake, wala mo nang gagalaw. After shaking, someone will hit yung alarm pag lalabas. E kung sira na yung alarm after shaking. Pero that's the cue. Pag tapos na mag-shake, that's the time lalabas kayo. Don't get out. Don't magtakbo na while shaking. Malaki ang diskrasyang mangyayari pag na-loose ninyo ang inyong balance. No? So, papasok na doon yung duck cover and hold. Give me a few seconds on this. Duck cover and hold means duck. Ilalim. Hold. It means hawakan nyo yung mga kumbaga legs ng table. Not your head. Kasi nga pag nag-shake yun, kung head ang hinawakan ninyo, tatakbo yung table. So, the legs of the table. Then, cover and hold. Doon ka sa ilalim ng table. Kung walang table, doon sa chair. Okay? But that's another story. Now, before kayo magtakbo palabas. Now, if you're in a high-rise building, nasunog ang third floor, nasa 10th floor ka, no? Sabi ng bumbero, get out of the building. It means, dumaang ka ng fire exits. Hindi ka tatalon sa bintana. Ibang usapan na naman din yun. Okay? So, try your best na dadaan ng fire exit. In our part, the Bureau of Fire is also doing our part na yung fire exit, sinecheck namin yun na hindi siya na uunang nasusunog in case of fire. Okay? So, if you could see some medyo iba, you could tell your administration or magsumbong kayo na hindi safe yung fire exit para mapunta namin ulit. Okay? So, tell others is the right way. The last, okay, is you get clear. Ibig sabihin, isa lang. Once nakalabas na kayo ng building, do not attempt to go back inside. Ay, naiwan ko yung cellphone ko. 10 gigs pa yun, hindi pwede balikan. Ay, naiwan ko yung sweetheart ko, hindi pwede balikan. Why? Karamihan ng bumalik, whatever the reasons, wala na silang story to tell. Alay, nabuhay pa sila na bakit silang bumalik. Most of them, or all of them, patay na. Pabalik ka pa lang, nag-inhale, exhale ka na, ng toxic gases, nagko-collapse ka na. Okay? So do not attempt to go back. Once nakalabas ka na, yun ang pinaka the best gift is your life, your personal protection. You have another day to tell. You have another day to work, to earn kung ano may nabalik mo doon. Importante is buhay ka. So, um, I cannot ask questions because you cannot answer also. <laughs> okay? If you have questions, you could go to our website or you could call us, go to our offices or to any fire stations near you. But for this pandemic, you could go to plans and trainings, dcft.gmail.com. Okay? Pwede ka mag-ask ng questions doon. Again, plans and trainings, dcfd, Dabo City Fire District, okay, dot gmail.com. Okay? So again, what to do in case of fire for this module, remember the word safety. Sound the alarm, always sound the alarm. Advise, no, or call the fire department. Fight the fire if possible, okay? Evacuate the area immediately. Then tell others, then you get clear. So that's it. So I hope may, may na-impart kami sa inyo. Again, this is Senior Fire Officer Juan Rodeles Tolioso of the Plan and Training Section, Tabo City Fire District, under the leadership of our District Fire Marshal, for Major Alex Pamaybay or Fire Chief Inspector Alex Pamaybay. Thank you for listening and God bless.